as we all know we all got the news uh yesterday Kendrick Lamar will be performing at the 2025 Super Bowl he will be headlining the halftime show the Apple Music halftime show do y'all remember when I covered the uh whole battle I don't like to say beef because these niggas not beef and it ain't gonna be no real bloodshed behind that that's not beef it was a rap battle but do y'all remember when I was covering the rap battle and I was like uh the battle of relationships I got that clip uh in the community section right now i reposted it yesterday y'all go check that out but i told y'all these relationships gonna have a lot to do with this kendrick lamar and uh drake situation and let me say this just to remind y'all i told y'all well i told certain people i told y'all that after the not like us song y'all thought that was it the music part over with now it's time to put it in a nigga face now he really popping see the song was just a song now he popping out and showing niggas now you gotta see this shit <laughs> now you gotta see this shit but i told y'all it was gonna get worse and it's gonna get worse than the super bowl shit man he dissed this nigga in a super bowl commercial crazy i know drake's so mad but anyway back to the relationships uh, Kendrick will be performing at the Apple Music halftime show at the Super Bowl in 2025 in New Orleans. And boy, people mad. They Word on the street, Lil Wayne ain't like that. I'm going to keep it real. When I first heard that the Super Bowl was going to be in New Orleans for 2025, I just knew it was going to be Lil Wayne, the Hot Boys, Master P, and No Limit. I just knew that. I just knew it was going to be all Louisiana X legendary louisiana x you know what i'm saying but but like like i've been telling y'all about your boy sean carter he came through with his bullshit you know what i mean and it might be some good bullshit we're gonna get to that i'm gonna tell you why it might be some good bullshit but i i ain't gonna lie i i want to see wayne kendrick i fuck with kendrick and what he was doing because kendrick got that goddamn small hat out the way like he was supposed to you know what i mean for the FBA, uh, FBA's ADOS, you know, for the niggas. This is for the niggas. Right? So I appreciate him for that. But we talking about New Orleans, nigga. You little Lil Wayne, boy. The fuck? And that's why, you know, like that nigga Ray G said, come on, man. We know Jay-Z don't like Drake. Jay-Z poking at Drake with this. But the back to the relationships and shit like that. I want to ask y'all a question. Is the machine... The music industry machine, we know that's been behind Drake this whole time. Drake has only been on the run because the machine behind him. Them people made Drake what he is, you know what I'm saying? He just a nigga that can perform. He ain't really got the talent that everybody act like he got, you know what I'm saying? Not saying he can't rap or nothing like that, but he always had that machine. And it just so happened that the machine behind him happened to be his cousins and uncles and shit like that. But that's a whole nother story. But anyway, I'm asking y'all. Do y'all think the machine has taken their hands off Drake and now they behind Kendrick? Because we know that Jay-Z really don't say nothing. Jay-Z really don't put his input in until the white boy give him the cue to uh he talk all that black shit but i ain't stupid nigga all you niggas all you niggas uh at, at, at that certain level and shit y'all gotta check in with the white boy to even still be there so you ain't fooling me but uh it looked like Jay-Z <laughs> playing a little chess move to take his jabs at drake too so if jay-z standing behind him and shit that lets me know it's some white boys somewhere standing behind we already know we got dr dre i was telling y'all the relationships go look at that video we already know we got dr dre jimmy iveen and shit like that but now it's looking like some more people getting behind him you know what i'm saying because we know this is a very political situation this shit all politics so yeah i want to end this video with asking y'all that has the machine taken their hands off of drake and now they standing behind kendrick lamar get in that comment section hit the like button hit the subscribe and all that good shit if you really fucking with me hit that cash shop you know what i'm talking about i'm broke now i'm, I'm telling y'all straight i'm broke i ain't one of them niggas. yeah send that i appreciate it shit